day 13, long run day. So I like to get up and get myself an electrolyte and then get myself ready to go for a run. Heart rate monitor on, nut butter to help with that chafing and barefoot shoes. The three essentials for running, in my opinion. Okay, so we're at the door. Um, this is a two hour, 15 minute run. I've run in a heartbeat zone two. The longest I've ever run was last Thursday. And that was an hour and 45 minutes. So the plan is to go for an hour and 10 minutes today and then turn and come back. And that just brings up to an hour and two hours, 15 minutes. Okay, so half an hour in, feeling good. Excited to see how far I'm able to go. Okay, so I'm just going through the halfway point and turned around. So we're an hour and 10 minutes in, I've done eight kilometers. Okay, so I'm coming up on an hour and 45 minutes. Um, it's still a half an hour left to go then. This is heading into new territory. This is where the battle begins. Two hours, 15, done. Wow, that was tough going by the end. But on every single second of it, happy with that. Um, done 15 kilometers. Legs feel like jelly, but we got it done. Okay, so here we go, workout two of the day. Like doing this workout after I've done a long run. And this is one of my go-to workouts that I do four days a week, at least. This is Knee Ability Zero by Ben Patrick, knees over toes guy. The progress I've made over the last couple of weeks using this here program, I couldn't even put in the words. If you're a runner or any sports person, you should be doing this workout, in my opinion. And it's time to get the 10 pages in. So again, I like to do this on the spin bike. This is just a low intensity workout, but I think it's a great thing to do when you're reading your 10 pages. And this normally takes about 25 minutes. So that brings an end to day 13 of 75 hard. I'll see you again in the next video.